Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. So today we're talking about Cody's lids, Voodoo Bike Works. Cody sent me these lids a while ago. I just haven't had the time to make the video. We're crazy busy at the shop. but uh, And then the holidays and the new year. But uh, I promised myself it was one of my New Year's resolutions to get caught up on my videos. So this is our second video of the new year. The first one was the Boss Audio giveaway. So these are Cody's lids. What's different and special about Cody's lids is they accept a large 8-inch driver. The problem with most lids on the market is you have to use a shallow 8-inch in order to make it work. They will not take a large 8-inch. So um, here's his lid right next to the most popular, well at least for us, this is the Twisted 8 lid by Speed by Design. So uh, both high quality lids, it's just the design is completely different on both. Uh, the Twisted 8 allows you to do a 35 millimeter horn and an 8 inch, but they recommend the Hertz SPL Show Neo. The reason they recommend it is because it is so thin, so it's a drop in fit. It will literally drop in and clear all the hardware, no cutting, no modification. Also fits a 35 millimeter horn like the Hertz ST35 or the ST35 Neo. Now the issue is when you're running the regular size 8s, here's the thinnest one, this is the SPL Show, then we have the popular carbon fiber PRV, which is just a little bit bigger, but then when you get to the big boys, like the largest 8 on the market, which is the, and we're talking coax with the horn, is the Bema. So look at the Bema compared to the Hertz, huge size difference. So obviously the Hurt drop in fit into either. The Bema will drop into Cody's lid, no problem. But there is no way in the world it's fitting in the Twisted 8. As a matter of fact, sitting on the table, I can't even get the speaker to fit all the way in. It's hitting the table. There's no way to get a drop in unless you use a large spacer. The problem with using a spacer is the speaker then sits above and it doesn't look good. The other problem is even with a spacer, you have to cut the bag hardware to get it to drop in. With Cody's lid, you don't have that issue because he A, he made the entry hole wider so the speaker will sit in. B, he raised this section up a couple inches and inset the tweeter. Tweeter goes in here. So by doing that, you can no longer run a 35 millimeter tweeter. The maximum you can go is a 25 millimeter. So you can't run the ST35, but you can run the ST25. I know because we tried. So he inset the tweeter and then raised up the 8 inch mount and made it wider. So we're able to drop in a huge 8 inch just like that. See that? It is the largest 8 inch mid range on the market and it drops in. Just not possible to do on the Twisted 8. It's not even fitting in the hole and then it sticks out too much on the bottom. So you have to cut the lock assembly. It's just a lot of surgery. So I can actually prove it to you. Here we have a Euphoria and it's not even the large Magna Euphoria. It's not even this one. This is the XL. This is the regular expert. And we had to modify it. See that? We had to cut one of the spokes off to get it to clear, to get it to drop in and clear the lock assembly. See how we get it to fit in? So now we're destroying a speaker. The speaker hasn't even played a note and we're already chopping it up and voiding the warranty. Uh, luckily, Euphoria offers a, uh, when they have them in stock, they offer a uh, rebuild kit. So if the speaker does blow, instead of sending it in for warranty, since we can't because we cut it, we can actually rebuild the speaker ourselves. But, but if you want a high-powered 8-inch mid, um, you got to do some cutting or modifying, or you got to build the speaker up and have it sit on top of the lid and just doesn't look good in my opinion, and obviously in Cody's opinion. So he built a lid which is thicker, stronger, taller, 
so we can run the competition 8 inch drivers. So I actually have both lids off the bike so I could show you and I actually have them installed on the bike. So with a slight modification to the cable cover for the lids, the only thing you have to do, you could drop in any of the standard ones, no modification, but if you want to run the big boys, you just modify the inside of the cable cover and the speaker drops all the way in. Check it out. So here's our modification to the basket of the Euphoria, which is what you have to do to make these fit in the twisted eight lids. But in Cody's lid, you don't have to modify it. It will drop right in. All right, there's Cody's lid that I've installed on my bike. And there's the slight modification right there. And here's the twisted eight lid installed on this CBO. Now, see how close that is? So there is no way you're going to get that to drop in there without hitting that. And that's why we have to modify right there. So let me show you. Even cut, it still gives us a hard time. But see that? We still have to run a spacer even though we've cut it. Now we'll take it over to Cody's lid. And it drops in completely flat. And that speaker's already been modified. Now, obviously, with the Hertz, it's a drop-in fit. But that is the largest speaker you can fit in the Twisted 8 lids without cutting or modifying. Okay, even with the Hertz speaker, you have to position it properly because look how close that is. See that? So if we rotate it like this, it won't fit have to make sure you spin it and even with this very thin speaker you have to make sure that's the only way it's going to go in now if you want to use anything larger no shot here's the euphoria expert even cut it's still not going to fit watch this see that it's not sitting all the way down and you can see we're already touching on both sides. So even after cutting the speaker, we'd still have to run a half inch spacer. Take it over here. Drops right in. And that's with the medium size speaker. Let's go grab the big boys. So here's the PRV carbon, medium size speaker. See that? will not drop in let's move it over to Cody's lid no problem I just want you guys to see size difference up close with all these speakers there's the Hertz there's the PRV there's the Euphoria, there's the Euphoria XL, and there's the Bema. Huge difference in size. So now we're gonna try and drop these two in. There, it's not even come close. That's as far as that one's going. There it is in Cody's lid. That's the DB Drive Expert Carbon XL. And there's Bama, the big boy, big boy. Not even close. And it's in there. We have the ST25 installed. Just show you the back side. Ah, 
try and do this one-handed. That's what the tweeter looks like on the back side. That's the woofer on the back side. See how close it is to the assembly, but it's not hitting. Put the speakers all the way in there. Let me readjust it. There it is. No spacer. It's in there. It's all bolted in place. The only thing we don't have in here is the gasket. Lid closes and locks. Okay, so I was talking to my friend Andy in Florida, and he really wanted to run the DB Drive Euphoria Experts, the XLs, in his lids. I told him the only way to do it was going to be with the new Voodoo lids. He tried the JL Audio 8.8s, I forget which company, and uh, it didn't work. So he made a video for me and forwarded it to me. I'm going to show you right now of why it didn't work. The hole was big enough, but it, since it's made for an 8.8 inch speaker, the flange wouldn't line up and there was no screw, no holes. To, so you, it could have been modified. We could have made an adapter plate top and bottom, but it would have been a lot more work just to kind of make it fit when Cody's voodoo lids just work and just drop in, just swap the parts over. So... They're the same price. Both these lids are about 500 bucks a set, whether you go with the Twisted 8 um, by Speed by Designs, or if you go with uh, Cody, the Voodoo Bike Works 8-inch um, lid. They're both about 500 bucks. Um, if you're going to run a regular speaker, and then it doesn't matter which lid you run, but if you're going to run one of the big boy heavy-duty 8s, like the Bama or your Expert, you really don't have a choice if you want the speaker to sit flush. If you don't mind the speaker sticking out half inch, inch from the lid, because the problem with doing that is you end up with a flange above the painted area, so you don't get that nice flush look, and then you end up seeing the spacer, the speaker, and then the grill. So all together, it's like an inch sticking out of the top of the lid. I know I wouldn't be happy with that look. So Cody noticed it was a problem, and uh, he came out with a really good solution. So... I hope this video helps. Uh, any questions, reach out to me or reach out to Cody at uh, Voodoo Bike Works. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get a link to Cody's install video. There is some modification to the hardware. It's, there's a couple of tabs you got to grind off. And then uh, the factory screw holes have to be relocated. But um, I had Chris do the install on my bike. He had the one lid installed in 20 minutes, including modification, maybe 30 minutes. So might take you an hour to do both sides, hour and a half tops. So it's really not hard. Uh, hope this helps. Talk to you guys later. What's going on, people? Andy Medina here, Some 9 Customs. So I'm making this video for Carlos Ramirez from NVS Audio. And um, it's a 8-inch speaker that I have. And the problem I'm having is that, uh, let me see the model. It's the EX8NCDCF. So it's an 8 inch speaker. The lids that I have wouldn't work with it. So I bought the Nasty Hog lids. As you see, I just have it sitting in there. It looks pretty decent. And the Nasty Hog lids look pretty decent too. It's a nice, flawless paint job. Um, I'm not sure how they buy it, but. The lip here looks to be at least at least an eighth or maybe a little bit more, maybe three sixteenth, bigger than normal. Um, but the problem I'm really having is that the speaker hole is too big for the speaker. So the speaker hole is seven and three quarters. And the size that I need to fit the speaker is 7 and 3 sixteenths. So, in reality, I have no place to bolt the speaker down. So, I'm going to show you here from the back side, which is easier to, so you can see what the problem is. So, as I center these holes up, let me see if I can center it. 
you can see that the speaker holes grab nothing. So to make these lids work, I will have to modify them with some kind of spacer or a ring or a thin ring, obviously, because I don't want these speakers sticking out too much. So uh, that's it. That's the problem I'm having. And in my old lids, I would have cut this bracket, one of these brackets, probably off or trim two two pieces off on each side to make the speaker, speaker lid, uh, speaker fit the speaker lid. And also I had a half inch spacer, which, you know. So now back to the drawing board. Yeah. Peace out.